Te doy gracias a Dios que yo mi historia la puedo contar Porque mucha gente mete en la calle buscando cómo ya se puede pegar Pero no saben cómo trabajar, como en verdad se tiene que luchar Es que yo soy diferente, tú mi mesa nunca te vas a sentar No, no me compares contigo, mis zapatos son muy grandes, tú mi hijo Yo he pasado por muchas que ni siquiera tú mi historia tú nunca ni la has oído La gente siempre va a hablar, eso a mí nunca me va a parar Mi madre me dijo que me ponga a rezar cada vez que algo yo quiera lograr hey, Yo no sé por qué tú crees que yo hablo y que si está enfocado lo mío y Welcome to the channel, Auto Body Society, Mac Duck in the house. Today we're back on the EK truck. We're starting to do the battle work on the Racker Low Word Battles. So, yeah, we're just gonna get to it. Not for the waiting, don't hold it back. So, let's get it. All right, boys, common problems that I deal with on a daily, maybe weekly stuff. Some of you guys don't see, might not even care. But this is some of the whole back home videos when I talk about weather. Today is a little sunny. But yeah, if I don't do this, that's how much wood I will have in the back of the truck. If you want to call it a truck, whatever. Thing is not needed. Some to it's not time that it needs to get wet. I don't want to have water constantly there. So I'd rather have a plastic, sort of a little mini pond over here going on. But it's things I gotta deal with, so. I'm gonna dry this in a little bit. Same with the garage. This is the reason I wanna get another apartment. Cause even if I could do this out of wood, I do not like this house at all. It's uncomfortable, so I'm not gonna say. But look at how much water over here. And over here. And over here. This is like stuff that I deal with. You know what I'm saying? So I gotta like castily watch this stuff. They don't fall in the car. This is the reason to have the hatch half of the time cover. So all that water is not on the car. But, you know, at least over here is not to this video. We're gonna get to the EK truck. I'm gonna drain it out. And um, we'll go on for whatever we gotta do next. So let's get it. All right, we took out the tarp with a tiny bit of water here. So I took the time off camera and I dried it. Being that I'm gonna be cutting and working in the inside of that. I didn't want any water at all. So the next time I show you guys, like it will hold up water and it's gonna do its purpose. In the future, I might work in doing some kind of a drain system. We're doing some holes and putting some hoses with it. We'll figure out when we get there. Today's video, we're getting to the bottom of the rocker of the quarter panel which means this bottom part right here excuse my feet so I'm gonna slide down what I need cut it off measure it and we're gonna cut out a metal sheet weld it possibly get in fiberglass and leave it for next episode to get sand and prime along with the other side but I'll do one time one side out of the side at a time so we'll do the sides first finish it and then next episode we'll do the other side because both sides is rusted different so it's not going to be the same similar but not the same first step we're going to remove the size curve in the bottom so we could see what we're looking at and from there we take it all right so i'm literally laying in the floor on the tarp to show you guys this footage it's important most people are not going to show you guys the I am so this is the bottom of your rocker panel with your size curve OEM mount okay this is how much work we have to do pretty bad I'm not gonna be capping and say well this is easy it's nothing so I'll show you guys so you guys see why I have to do episode after episode side by side one at a time because there's no way I could cover this in 20 so many video so as usual we're gonna try to save as much metal we can out of here so I might go half inch this way after I clean it and probably an inch tall but I'm trying to shape it as well at the end I'll show you guys how I shape it 
with a metal bender. We'll clean this up a little bit. And obviously all this is gonna get right and contrasted. Well, we, do, we do it once we cut it, we're gonna trace it with a cardboard so we got the sack shape, how we gonna bend it, how we gonna cut it, how we gonna weld it, and then we'll proceed with the rest. So, second step for me is to remove that flare, which I know I have to remove. We're not doing any work on the upper quarter yet. We're just doing the bottom of the quarter panel, which is the rocker slash quarter panel, rocker panel. So that's what I want to show you guys, pretty much a DIY video. For many of you guys that have the same situation of rust at home. So right now it's not even about the EK being a truck, cut up, whatever. It's a normal fix on a Civic car. It's a normal repair. So for you guys that have this kind of problem, keep this in mind. Also after, do, after I do both sides, this is the major thing of the car. I want to show you the floor. Most people are gonna be capping not show shit, but I like to show it. I wouldn't be old about a society if I don't show. All right, check out the scenery, boys. I decided not to record cutting and grinding because it's senseless. I don't want them to make this video any longer. This is cleaned up there. I cut up most of the rust that was there. Obviously, rust on the top that was over here, so it could be less rust repair that we're doing. If you want to make it cleaner all these corner spots in the floor it had nothing but that so what I'm doing before I cut my metal before I patch it weld it any of that I'm gonna pre rinse that the floor itself take out all that muddy water all that rust as much as possible let it dry into tomorrow tomorrow prime it and then we could go on from doing everything else no sense on fixing this if i'm gonna leave all that junk in there so i just wanna remind you guys of doing stuff like that you know what i'm saying go to the stand of emptying it out clean it up soaping it up pressure watching whatever you have to do you know prime it in order to make the rust not to come back obviously that's so bad we can't do much there so we're gonna work with the outer layers there's nothing much we could do on the inside this is just double panels that are there from factory it'll be nice to have on cover but not worry about it as long as we got all this cover repair the way it goes so i'm gonna get to rent this out let it dry come back prime it and then we go from there let's get it All right, boys, I couldn't really wait till tomorrow. So what I did, I used an air dryer or blow dryer. I used it on the hot volume and I just air dried that side of my bitch. Right now we got some of the rosolium on the coating. I'm gonna hit the whole inside so it'll dry for tomorrow. And that's one thing that I don't have to weigh and it's already protected. wipe that off my head it tomorrow with the grinder to make better contact overall all the inside got rosol in protection cut off all the oil rod cleaned up all that does particles that was everywhere so that should be good now we could continue to uh, move on to take measurements on the patch and get it done All right, boys, so we are continuing over here on the bottom of the record panel because it's a difference. This is his quarter panel from here up. Over here 
is called rocker panel. You'll do the bottom part. So it's latch rocker panel slash quarter panel repair. For so this is simple. We're going to use cardboard. I try to use it with paper. The paper wrinkles too much. So we're going to recycle a little bit. Some of them cardboard you got from the Mulanza. If you know, you know. And what I did, I bend it. This shape a little bit. It's about almost an inch. So if you guys see, it fits perfect there. All right. Now I'm gonna proceed to get this next bend over here that follows up. Then the next bend and the next bend until we got the right pattern and simply trace it, cut into the metal that we're gonna use. So with that being said, let me finish up and I'll show you guys, let's get it. One more thing that I did for tomorrow, it's getting a little dark, so I'm stopping right here. I know I keep saying that. Cut my piece of metal cheat that we're gonna use. I sand it both sides to take out the rust. One side, I had it with the rust on the, co on the coating. Cause by the time that we put it against the quarter panel, we're not gonna have a chance to get in there. So might as well just get in there. And then we worry about grinding whatever we have to do when we got it welded. But overall, that's the way to go. That's done. And that's done for tomorrow. Tomorrow, so all matter, just start bending, shaping and start welding so let's get it all right boys so it's the day after this is sort of the shape that i need right here this goes against the rocker panel it comes out this part just start turning and it goes flush to the uh quarter panel so i got my metal bender we got the metal ready right from yesterday this is the part that's gonna go towards inside of the car and this is the part that's gonna be exposed again we're gonna weld on and see like that since so this is gonna be inside i put the rosoleum so it's not gonna rust up so without further waiting i'm gonna start bending the shapes so i get it the closest to what i need and hopefully we got it to the right spot and start tagging it so let's get all right, boys, this part I haven't really recorded here because it's kind of dark, as you guys see. And it's hideous. It's self planetary If you have a bent metal press like this, make sure you clamp it with the size, your measurements, do a mock up on cardboard, for, on cardboard first, and eventually do a metal. And take your time so that you don't ruin the metal, especially on a piece that's like one piece already that you have, and that's probably the last one. Anyways, as you guys see, I got close to the shape down here. If I let my cardboard down now, we'll go to the last shape, which is the one that curves, and then it goes up. So this is pretty much getting there. I got one more turn to do, which it'll be this turn over here. And then we could proceed on trying it on, on the car. All right, boys. So I'm on the floor right here. It's a little uncomfortable, but I'm giving you the full view. So far, this is not even tackle, it's not even finished. I'm just showing you guys my bends and my shape. So far, so good with everything. From this hard line here, the second line, sorry I can point out. I have to bend it to make it rounder. Other than that, we got the same shape. So you guys. Left the piece over here, if you guys see, to be my guy. So everything is pretty much the same shape, you see. So I shaped it close as I could to OEM. Now from the hard line, I have to make a rounder to hug the body. Uh, get it on place, and we can start tagging it, and that should be done. Let's get it. I want to do a quick fit real quick. 
trimmed it. I overlapped it both sides so I have enough to cut to the sack shape. So obviously these do not go all the way down here. It gets trimmed down here and then it stops like this. Something like that. So far so good. I hug it to the body. The body runs on everything. You have to pack down there, pack over here, and we got ourselves a brand new piece. Ready to start welding. I'm tagging from that way up. It still got to go back in place as I tag it, push in and make pressure. So I grab the shape. So I'm just going to tag it off camera real quick, make it easier. And I'll show you guys once it's welded. This is pretty much done. Alright, check me out boys, I've been busting my ass, I'm sweating like a fucking whore, pause, anyways, the piece is placed and welded, no cap, I didn't play no games, I'm trying to catch up on the bill as much as I can for all the time I wasted, so, yeah, been a bitch between welding, grinding, welding, grinding, welding, but got it all done. It's a matter of just uh, filling it in with it. icing or fiberglass, you know. We'll do that next video. Just wanted to show you the DIY on doing the uh, record panel repair. So we'll come back with part two on both sides, hopefully. But I'll show you guys real quick. All right, check it. I so weld it from top to bottom. I got a little piece here that I had. To fix but I'm gonna leave that for the end now that I didn't burn through it just it was there and I didn't cover it wide enough because I had it straight but the rocker panel and stuff check it out so welded it it's all sealed check out that shape no more rust no more assisting hole that's gonna get filled in with potty in the bottom to fill in the gap perfect a little corner here that I got addressed but nothing too big that I can do the main job was to do the whole thing down there so looking good that thing is solid same shape that was my main concern to bend this closest to OEM the redwood body filling is gonna fix it up but overall look dope something we could do at home You can order in eBay, they don't make it, then that's it. Also this corner, I have to make the lip for the inside, so I'll do that separate as well. I just didn't want to fold and ruin the shape, so it's easier for me just to uh, make the shape after, you know, all the way down. I'll show you guys what I mean. So overall, the rocker panel is fixed. Nothing that a little icing in between the welding. And on top, sand it, prime it, can't take care of it. Solid metal. 100 times better than have it rusted. And the best part, they trying to mash that up as close as I could to the body line. What I was saying, that's a hard line. So. All my lines from over here, I'm trying to make them as perfect as I could. From over here, it's gonna get filled. So it's gonna blend in straight. You ain't gonna see it. But, look good, boys. Alright, we're gonna wrap it up on this one. Like I said, I'm not gonna put the fiberglass now. 
No sense. I wanted to show you guys the patch himself, how you do it before and after. Rewind the video and just you remember the hole that was there. Russ treated it before we welded it. So that's the way to go, boys. Stuff you could do at home, save a couple hundred dollars. Do not go to a body shop. This is stuff that you could do yourself. This quarter panel, lower bottom, pretty much done. We're gonna fill it in off camera, like I said, for the next episode. We'll do the other side. I'll sand it, prime it out, in which we finish with it. Maybe the same day we do that, we'll take care of this little bit over here, which is surface. In the other spot, I have to do more because I have to refix the quarter panel. But one thing at a time. Quarter panel repairs is separate. Lower uh, rocker panels is separate from quarter panels. So that's why I'm doing a separate so nobody get confused. How you do this, how you do that. So that's how I'm going by that. The back is done. We just got the, uh, the door to do with the truck. This little body work they're gonna get taken care of. Is when I put my side curves now it's gonna look so much better because before you could you see the light inside the back of it because it was so rusted. So don't forget that. Now when I put my uh, flares back with the bodywork done, it's gonna look so complete on this side. So little by little, we start from bigger to smaller. You know what I'm saying? Like I know I had a dent here someplace, small. I'm not worried about that. I did it myself. Trying to stand on the door the day I cut the roof. But little things we'll do, you know, at the end. Fenders is it pretty much good. Just like little sanding. So major work was that. But she's looking dope. See, I have to get the view from over here. So you have to see the whole picture. Just a couple weeks ago, maybe months ago, we didn't even have that done. Not the rails, not the top of the back, not the uh, covers, nothing. So we worked all the way from close in the back floor side the rail to the exterior now which we're doing the body work on the quarter panel and the rocker panels in this case the rocker panel and the quarter panels is gonna get done last separate but I just wanted to show the metal work on how to you know do the rocker panel repair DIY so I hope this video was helpful inspirational in any kind doesn't have to be a youth truck or a cut truck, you know what I mean? It could be a regular car that you have at home. You know, any Civic, any Accord, any Prelo, any car, period. Just do the shapes, follow the steps. Don't be afraid of welding. All that shit is gonna get filled in with glass. Bando glass that is, so if you could get good at welding, why not? If they do like a little like popcorn sometimes, they're gonna get grind down anyway and it's gonna get filled in. So eventually within time you're gonna get it. But your metal work is not gonna go anywhere. I guarantee you that work that I did is gonna last at least six years, maybe eight years now. Because I did it the most correct way that I could. Rather than just stuff it with bando and trying to fill it in with like most people do. As you guys seen we cut it off, we replaced it, we fixed it, ready to move on. So we're gonna cut a turn on this one. Appreciate every single one of you for subscribing, liking, and coming. Staying tuned on the channel for supporting. Till next time. Peace.